your Locked On Devils, your daily podcast on the New Jersey Devils, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hi, this is Bryce Salvador, and you're Locked On Devils with Trey Matthews. been you know in the league for, for several years now but but stepping into that veteran role in a, in a younger team like this that has also had playoff success what does that kind of mean to you yeah I think I think it's just fun it's just a great a great opportunity for us uh, and for myself especially it uh, it's a great time to be be here in New Jersey and I think ex- expectations are really high here and um, I think everyone's kind of putting the pressure on themselves to to compete in practice and compete to get better every single day and um, like I said it's been a lot of fun and I uh, can't wait, you know, to keep playing and, and keep getting getting to work. When you think about that pressure on a team, does it remind you a little bit of some of your years in LA when you guys were winning those cups and or two of them? I know you had that one that first year. <laughs> yeah, I think everything you know we we learned and, and did in practice translated to games. And um, I think if you ask kind of anybody who who played against those Kings teams um, back then, it it wasn't it wasn't fun playing against the Kings, going into LA and playing them and or playing us and. <laughs> Um, I think we all kind of took pride in that, and I think that's something that um, you know we take pride in, in here from the, the very brief time I've been here is uh, the way we compete, the way we skate, and uh, the way we put pressure on teams, and uh, it's a fun way to play hockey. Is it impressive? I mean, maybe that's not the right word when you look at so many young guys on this team who embrace that mentality and take it truly to heart. Yeah, I think you know they love the game, and, and like I said, they want to get better every single day, and they want to win, they want to score, they want to... Uh, be the best player on the ice every single night, and I think if you look at everybody on the team or you know guys uh, on the fringe of making the team, they uh, they all feel the same way, and that that's what uh, has made this this team and organization so good. What are some of the things that Travis is really trying to impress on you guys when it comes to the the power play work? Uh, moving the puck, um, you know, not being afraid to shoot the puck, and uh, I mean it's all pretty basic basic things. It's just. Really, it's just a matter of, of executing and, um, at the end of the day, you know, scoring goals. You've played against teams that are fast, quick on the ice. How does this team rank with that? Oh, definitely, um, definitely up there. Uh, the way the the system is, it, it you know, it feels like there's there's pressure all over the ice, and um, there's a lot of work that uh, that we have to do. So, uh, like I said, it's a lot of fun. You're always involved. You're always kind of doing something, and. Um, I think the more pressure you put on teams, you know, the more mistakes that they, they make. And obviously, if you look at the guys in the lineup, uh, you know, turnovers and stuff, that's, uh, that's something that, you know, makes other teams pay. Sort of wrap your head around the last few months and sort of where your hockey journey has taken you to this point. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely been a, a, a wild, you know, 18 months, I think. You know, I played a world championships, went to two final fours with Michigan, um, you know, two, three world juniors. Um, here so it's uh it's been it's been a crazy ride and uh looking for some time to to chill and and re- really refresh refresh and reflect but uh you know it's been great um you know I've loved my time here and I'm really excited how important for you was it to get a little bit of a taste of that NHL whether it's regular season playoffs going into this season yeah I think it was you know really important for me um just to see where my game is at and uh you know have those building blocks to go off of so um you know I think Playing a team like Carolina too, you know, one of the best teams in the NHL defensively, and um, you know, really, really seeing what I can do against them was uh, was important for me, and I think important for the for the people in the organization to see. Where did you feel your game was at in comparison of you know just playing at the NHL level? Yeah, I liked it. I think, uh, like I said, it's it's something to build off of. I think, you know, I need to have a big summer, and I will, and um, you know, come back very prepared and ready, like I was. How does it feel? We've spoken to all your teammates on the blue line, and they've had nothing. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the guys have been great to me. Um, you know, I think really appreciated, you know, how they, you know, welcomed, welcomed me into the team and, um, you know, really brought me in. The coaching staff's been awesome, the trainers, everyone. So, um, you know, all in all, it was, a, it was a great situation walking in. Everyone's been great. Coming into this situation, does it feel like the start of something really special, like they'll be here year after year this deep into the postseason? I think we hope so. So, um, you know, I think it was a sour taste left in our mouth. Um, you know, because obviously we we want to win, and um, you know, we want, we're, <laughs> I've only been here a, a month, but you know, I don't think we, 
have a lot of patient people. You know, we want to win now, and um, you know it's a sour taste, but uh, you know we'll be back. So. And you expect to be here full time next season? I, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, what do you think of, uh, of Lindy in your in your short time here, and how and how he's able to guide younger players? Yeah, I think you know the coaches were awesome. Lindy was great. Gilly was great. Um, you know, just working with me after practice and, you know, working on little things, saucing skills, um, and then, you know, Gilly just telling me little pointers, um, you know, really just coaching me up. So, you know, they're both great, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to continuing that relationship. How, how were you able to settle in so quickly into the uh, NHL? Because you said it yourself, you went from going to the Frozen Four to now playing a lot of minutes in, in game five in a in an elimination game. So I, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on, like, just the process of just settling down in the NHL and getting comfortable. Yeah, I think I was very prepared, you know, coming in um, with my mindset and, you know, uh, how my game was was ready after going two years two years at Michigan. So um, you know, I think the second year for me was huge, just developing, um, you know, my skills and making sure my body was ready, making sure my strength was was up, and then just to the maturity level, just to make sure my mind was ready for the NHL and you know the ups and downs and um, you know how even keel you have to be. What are your expectations uh, come next year? Because you just mentioned that you expect to be with the team full time. Has there been talk about a bigger role or um, has there been a discussion of that sorts yet? No, I think, you know, I think, I mean, we we just finished our season. You know, I need to have a big summer and you know, I think everyone knows that. And, um, you know, I'll come back and, and, you know, win a role and, um, you know, really, really step in and try to help these guys out. Luke, how important was it to come in here and have Jack as a center? Yeah, I mean, it was unbelievable. Just, uh, you know, even the off-ice stuff, just living together. And, you know, I haven't lived with him in four years. So, um, you know, just living with him and, you know, watching movies, hanging out. You know, it's it's the brother aspect that's uh, that's pretty cool. But obviously playing together is uh, super special. And, you know, it was, uh, it was awesome getting out there with him. Is he easy to live with? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Low really, maintenance? Yeah, low maintenance, uh, really tidy person, though. So. <laughs> Are you? Odd couple? <laughs> I need, uh, uh, not as much as him, but I'm working on it. <laughs> what, what was your favorite moment from the season? I know you only played a few games in the NHL, but I'm just curious to know, like, uh, does any moment stick out for you? Um, Probably winning game seven. Like, I didn't even play, but I was just like – it was just so cool to watch those guys, and um, obviously you want to be in that situation and play. But you know, watch them, um, you know, really, really grind back from down 2-0 was uh, was pretty cool to see. So um, you know, that was that was awesome for them and us. How was your game five? Whenever you got paired with Gravy and had the big assignment going against Carolina, I mean, what did that mean to you to, to trust and respect the coaches that bad in you? Yeah, I think you know that's. Um, yeah, I mean that that was that was awesome for me to get in there and you know try to try to help out and at the end of the day it's about winning the hockey <coughs> game so if they they believe in me and um, you know thought I could get the job done best and you know I appreciate that and I'll I'll do my best to get the job done. So. How has your game matured ever since you got drafted? Because we always knew you were an offensive-minded defenseman and people were concerned about your defense. But if game five was any indicator, you debunked those rumors. So curious to know how your game has matured. Yeah, I think just my maturity level has uh, has grown a lot. I think um, really picking your spots, when to go, when not to go, and um, you know I'm still learning, I'm still getting better, and you know I think the summer's huge for me, and I, I want to get better at all aspects of my of my game. But um, yeah, I think um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, I don't know. Why was it, I, I don't know. Oh. Off season, um, yeah, we have a great group. It's me, Jack Quinn, Cole Caulfield, Bernier, Zegras, uh, Kyle Connor, Larks, Warinsky. So a lot of money on that ice, but uh, you know we work really hard. We grind five days, take Saturday, Sunday off, and then get back at it on Monday. So yeah, yeah, done, done with, done with college for a little bit. So. I I had a chance to speak uh, with Maddie about a month ago. Um, when the Kraken played the Coyotes and he had nothing but positive things to say about uh, you. He said he was you were one of the most uh, talented skaters he's ever 
played with. So just hearing that high praise from your former Wolverine teammate and also the high praise at the NHL level and um, how are you going to, you know, use it to elevate your game just a little bit more? Yeah, I think, you know, Matty is a, a really good person. And, um, you know, I really enjoyed my time playing with him at Michigan. And, um, you know, I think, um, you know, that's that's awesome that he said that about me. And, um, you know, he's an unbelievable player. And, you know, that's uh, – I have a lot of respect for him, so um, you know, he's a he's a great guy and a great player. Would you get your mother for tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure that out tonight. His <laughs> presence, he's going yeah. back. So home. It's, it's Jack's B day too tomorrow, so it's a big day, big day. Or yeah, tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow's tomorrow's Sunday, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, tomorrow. Could you just talk, talk a little bit about mom and the impact she's had on your career? Yeah, I think you know my parents and. Um, you know, they've, they've sacrificed so much for us, and to be in the situation, I think it's just a dedication to them. Um, you know, having three three boys in the NHL, um, you know, is really special, and, you know, I think that's that's all because of them and how they pushed us growing up, and, um, you know, from when she taught us how to skate when we were two years old, uh, watching our games and tell us what she thinks now. So um, she's she's been unbelievable for us, and, um, yeah, she's definitely a huge reason why all three of us are here. Game five when we weren't sure if Jack was going to play or not. Um, what was going through my mind? I, I don't I don't know. I think you know he's an unbelievable player, and you know I think if he didn't play, it, you know would have hurt the team a lot. But um, you know that's just a de dedication to him and you know him grinding through stuff like a lot of guys. And um, you know I think that's just playoff time. So you got to do what you got to do, and you know, he played well. And you know obviously we're not happy with the outcome, but um, you know proud of him for for grinding through that. Don't worry, there's still more in store with this bonus episode. But before we continue, I want to tell you guys about the Sleeper app. So as you guys know, I'm in the midst of my fantasy season, but a new NHL season brings all sorts of possibilities. So we could talk about Jack Hughes potentially getting 50 goals. We could talk about the New Jersey Devils potentially hoisting up the Stanley Cup. And you could win big by playing Daily Fantasy Hockey on Sleeper, the official Daily Fantasy app of Locked On NHL Network. Sleeper is our number one choice for daily fantasy sports and especially daily fantasy hockey because with Sleeper, you can win 100 times your cash in daily fantasy hockey contests. So once again, you just have to bet on players like Timo Meyer, Jack Hughes, Nico Heischer, studs like that. You can also play daily fantasy NFL, NBA, MLB, college football, and Sleeper. And remember, when you choose two or three players, you just have to choose more or less than their sleeper projections for things like goals, assists, saves, plus, minus, and more in any given game. It's a lot of fun. So to win 100 times on sleeper, you need to correctly predict the outcome of eight player stats. You heard me, Devils fans. You can win 100 times your money playing daily fantasy hockey with sleeper. So start paying attention and nail your picks so that way you can start winning big. Use promo code locked on NHL and you'll get up to a $100 match on your first deposit. Terms and conditions apply. That's locked on NHL. See sleepers terms of use for details and locational availability. And now let me tell you guys about Indeed because you guys need to grow your business the correct way. So Indeed is a hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates with the right skills when you could do it all with Indeed. Find top talent with Indeed Suite. A powerful hiring tools like Indeed Instant Match, assessments, and virtual interviews. So hate waiting? Indeed's U.S. data shows over 80% of Indeed employees find quality candidates whose resume on Indeed matches their job description the moment they sponsor a job. So once again, you deserve to uh, form your own winning team. So Indeed knows when you're growing your own business, you have to make every dollar count. That's why with Indeed, you can only pay for quality applicants that match your must-have job requirements. So visit Indeed.com slash locked on to start hiring now. Just go to Indeed.com slash locked on. Once again, Indeed.com slash locked on. Terms and conditions apply. Cost per application pricing not available for everyone. Need to hire? You need Indeed. All right, back to today's bonus episode. Take it away once again. Pretty good healthy. Come in here, you know, find my game again. That's, that's something that's, you know, it's more consistent in the lineup. You know, you had to know what not. It's hard for me to do, but this team has all the, you know, 
makes of doing something special. I mean, we're able to look uh, the Hurricanes in the eyes and say, you know, this is what it takes. That's their baseline. That's their standard now. So it's going to take a lot, but this group has it in them, and I think that's what's most exciting. Curtis, I mean, this is probably time for you to, to finally get to go back home and see uh, your wife and your kid there, huh? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to trade in my hockey helmet for you know, dad had pretty quick here. Um, I kind of have a feeling we're we'll welcoming our, our next one in the world pretty soon here. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get home. Wife's got a lot of projects for me to do, so <laughs> it's time to get things going back home, yeah. You might work harder there, huh? Exactly, yeah. Um, but honestly, I mean, I, I can't thank them enough, enough for allowing me to come out here and play. Uh, it's been it's been long, it's been grueling, a little lonely at times, but uh, it's going to be worth it, you know, walking that door and being back with the family. I know uh, you described your game as beaten potatoes hockey, and I know you've played here for a short amount of time, but um, reflecting on the season, getting uh, to the playoffs, obviously, um, how how would you uh, rate this season in, in your eyes? Well, from a personal standpoint? Yes. Oh, honestly, for the, for the whole thing, pretty frustrating in an ideal situation. You know, I get the chance to come in here at, you know, an organization that has faith in me, you know, the meetings I've had and just kind of the role that I'm going to get to, to bring. It's been awesome, but energy, I guess, yeah, injury-wise, health-wise, very frustrating. Um, again, and down the stretch, when I had the chance to kind of solidify and prove, you know, like I said, that meat potatoes player and what I could be, you get hurt, you know, you get plugged in, you're playing limited minutes. Uh, it's difficult, but again, I think playing, you get a chance to go in there, you do the best job you can. But then on top of that, the last game was when I felt my best. That's probably the best I felt in three months. You know, my, my legs felt strong, something that I've I've been lacking. So for me to get healthy this summer, that's that's most important. What is the character like in this room with so many young guys? And just when you're in a difficult situation like you were, just to feel part of the group and, and just the personalities that are in here. It's it's massive. Uh, like you said, you go through hard times, like being away from your family, injuries and whatnot. You rely up on a lot, you know, being around the guys and a little nervous because, you know, you say you're new, you don't know many guys, but they're so young, they're so energetic, they're so fun that it's, it's been great and you'll know, get to know these guys. So it's just overall excitement. Yeah, you know, yeah, there's the disappointment from, you know, being eliminated because you know, we, we really have something special going on here, but you know, sometimes you got to learn the hard lessons uh, and it's what you do about them and how you come back for next season. But uh, in saying that, you know, you got to work. You know, playoffs aren't for granted now. You know, you start from square one. This team took a big step, but you know, I, I can't say enough good things about this group because they're so young, they're so raw, and they're so fun. At what point do you, you know, in an off season like this, start getting excited about next year, knowing what has been accomplished by a group, or is that right away? I think it's right away. Even you know, hanging out in the past couple of days, guys talking, breaking down the game. So what can we do differently and stuff like that? And like, we just got eliminated, but you can tell the hunger is still there. So. That's, I mean, that's what it's all about. Uh, and again, you, you take a few weeks to handle it, digest, but after a season like this and success that you've had, you want to get right back at it. So again, you make the playoffs, you go a little, you know, little ways in it. The off season gets cut a little shorter, so you take advantage of your time, but we're going to be back here before you know it. Now that you're uh, settled in, uh, what are your expectations uh, come next year? Because you talked about how it was uh, frustrating because of, of all everything you had to go through, but now that, it's over and you're gonna have time to uh, uh, once again get settled in. What are your expectations uh, come next year? How can you contribute more to this team? Yeah, just again, play my style. Uh, I'm gonna be probably more leeway in the lineup and be relied upon in a lot more situations and just kind of you know, hit the ground running. I'm the type of guy that you get reps in, the games are gonna happen. So get a full training camp in. You said summer of training and whatnot, it's, it's gonna be good. Prove that versatility playing down the middle, playing on the wing, whatever they wanna do, I'm gonna do it. So part of my talk too. I mean, I'm going to kind of be that Swiss army knife type of guy. So we'll see how long until they throw me back in the back end. I need another Swiss person. <laughs> what do you think the most important thing you've learned about going from the regular season to the playoffs and trying to be consistent there is? Uh, I mean, it's, you can see it's a little bit different hockey, you know, they, they're going more to the net. Uh, uh, screaming, you know, it's, uh, it's harder for sure. But uh, like I said, uh, Learn from that and then uh, move on. How nice is it to you know know you're going to be back next year? You don't have to do the transition to a new team. You're you know you're in here now. Does that help in a way? I mean, you never know uh, what's going to happen. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I have a contract. It's it's always nice to have that, you know. And then not thinking about the summer to getting job. Uh, I can just. Uh, 
work hard and then uh, get ready for the new season. What do you think the biggest growth of the whole team was from where you guys started at the beginning of the year and what you were able to accomplish and show to the rest of the league? Uh, I mean, uh, it was a tough start in the season, you know, we lost two games and then uh, we uh, we come back, you know, it was uh, really big for us. Uh, the team was working really hard, you know, we have uh, good players here, uh, we were scoring goals, uh, defense was really good and then, uh, that's uh, showed up in the season and that's why uh, we make the playoffs and then play really good in the season.